Yo, what's up guys, it's Archie Lala, we're back with some Legend of Heroes. It's been a while, but you know, we're here. So, in the last episode, we saved Clem from those crooks. You know, he was trying to get revenge for the fire that happened at the orphanage. But he may have taken out, taken it out on the wrong people. So we're gonna go to the guild, we're gonna report back, see what's up. Get some information. Welcome back, and good work. I'm told that you were able to save a young boy. Yeah, somehow or another. I'm still kind of in shock from when that redhead showed up. Haha, <laughs> you must mean Agate. He's working on another case in ruin. He used to be the leader of the Ravens, if you can believe it. I suspect it as much. Guess that explains his terrible disposition. Well, that was a long time ago. He drifted into town, right around when he was your age. He hung out with a rough crowd and got into some serious trouble. Compared to back then, the tough types nowadays are puppy dogs. Uh and a guy like that was allowed to become a racer? Well, I've gotten to know him a little better. And it turns out that he wanted to be a, become a racer ever since he was little. Sometimes people just change. I think that's probably enough of the idle chatter. Oh, you're back. Didn't your mama ever tell you it ain't nice to talk about someone behind his back? Always with the gossip. Haha, <laughs> but is it really gossip if it's positive? Anyway, are you done with your investigation? Yep, over and done with. I can't say for sure, but I think they're clean. Really? You're not just trying to protect your old buddies? You wanna watch that mouth of yours? From what I saw last night at the Sailor's Tavern, they couldn't be the arsonists. Hell, I doubt they could've even walked a straight line if they wanted to. Hmm. Well, if that's true, we can hold off on them. They didn't strike me as a type with the guts to try arson anyway. I guess not, just full of themselves mostly. All you need to do is give them a nasty look, and believe me, they'll cave. Anyway, I'll see if I can find the arsonist while I'm out in the field. Huh? I'm taking over the case. And you're off it. Whoa, say what? You've got to be kidding me. Can you at least give us an explanation? Oh, don't get your- Hey, hey, hey! 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 <laughs> Oh, don't get your panties in a wad. You two are too close to this case and you know it. And if you let your feelings run away with you, it screws with your judgment. Plus, you let a civvy get involved. Oh, pardon me, but I... You ain't gotta apologize. It's these two I'm worried about. The point is, you gotta be professional about it, and these two ain't. Just where do you get off calling us unprofessional? And no matter what you say, we made a promise to the mayor. Hey, Gene. What do the rules say about when junior, junior and senior braces want the same case? Oh, come on, you know as well as I do. Of course it rules in favor of the senior bracer. Oh. We're not bad in a fight. Perhaps we could provide backup? It's just an investigation. I don't need more people. I think we're done here. Try not to hold this against me. What? He... I... Just who the hell does he think he is? It's frustrating, sure, but he has a point. It just irritates me that we really don't have a counter-argument. I'm sorry, if I had not drawn my sword, that's not what's bothering me. He doesn't He doesn't have to just blow, up, blow us off like that. Please, he means no harm, don't be upset. Tact is not his strong suit, he just doesn't know any other way to communicate. Particularly in light of the current situation, I think it may have something to do with an earlier case of his. He was pursuing someone and, well... Huh? Pursuing someone like a criminal? Ah, oh, never mind about that. I really can't go into detail. Just let him handle these criminals. Consider it a personal favor for me. I guess we have no choice. I see. Well, we'll hand over our report from the, our investigation then. Please, go ahead. Oh, we're fifth class! I didn't even realize. It seems that you were quite thorough. But as I mentioned, the circumstances of this case are special. I'm terribly sorry, but you have to end your investigation here. But we just wanted to do something for the matron and the kids. This isn't right. Estelle. Um, Mr. Jean? It's possible to enlist the help of the Bracer Guild for civilian events, isn't it? Yes, though it wouldn't depend on... Though it would depend on what kind of event you're talking about. Because of the number, pe number of people who attend, we'll be handling security at the Royal Academy Festival, for example. Well then, Estelle, Joshua, would you mind helping out with our play in the meantime? Huh? 
What do you mean? Every year when the festival ends, there's a play held in the auditor auditorium. I know the children always look forward to it, and there are still two major roles that haven't been filled. You don't mean, you want us to take the parts? Yes, otherwise we may have to cancel the play entirely. I can't bear to think of how disappointed the children would be. So I mentioned you two to the student council last night. They seem quite eager to have you. It wouldn't be much, but you'd be reimbursed from the admin budget. But why do you want us? I don't think I'd be any good, and isn't the play a really big deal? Well, for the girl part, we need someone who's been trained for combat. I think you'd fit the world perfectly. I, I see. Hmm. Well, I can definitely do combat stuff. Sounds like it would work. And what about the other part? Oh, yes. Well, talking about it is kind of, um, kind of what? Embarrassing. A and what does that mean exactly? What kind of play is this? Oh, come on, Joshua. You're not going to make her say it, are you? If we can do something for the kids, where's the harm? Plus, if we do some work, they'll probably let us have some of that awesome festival's food. We can't let that opportunity slip by. Hey, hold on a second. Gene, is this really a legit bracer assignment? It certainly is. Citizen outreach and regional services comprise plenty of the general work that bracers do. And since Agate showed up, you do have some extra time. I certainly have no problem with it. Alright! <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. But if it's for the kids, what choice do I have? Still, if we have anything else to do, we should take care of it beforehand. I doubt working on the play will leave us free time for anything else. Hmm, yeah, you're probably right. Hey, Chloe, would it be okay with you if we looked around here some more? Sure, you don't need to worry about me. To get to the Royal Academy, you leave by the Gold si Seaside Way, go east of the First Fork, and then follow the Woodland Path. Okay, got it. Well then, let's go. Okay, the fact that they said that means that we won't be able to come back when we go. That's a clear mark. Which means... Oh my gosh, look at all these side quests. So it looks like this is going to be a side quest episode. Oh, let me take a sip of this water. Okay, so those definitely those other two missions that I was like, yeah, I can't do these. But let's look at these other ones. So we have maintenance delivery. Okay, this is look this is just a delivery. We we can probably do that. Pirate treasure. We should be able to do that. Looking for an escort who's dead set on heading out onto the Crone Trail. We should be able to do that too. A sapphire glim, a treasure of the house of Dalmo was stolen. Maybe we can do that. There's annoying there's an annoying traveler. Come ASAP directly to the airlet and at the end east end of the Aryan Causeway. That might be difficult. Okay, but so we have to visit the Orbal Factory, the chapel, and the mayor's residence. Okay, where might those be? Orbo Factory is right next door. Um, Mr. Tobias, we came here for the guild. Oh, this is about the maintenance kit, no? Your timing is exemplary. Will you be able to make the delivery post haste? This brick of a thing is all yours now. Brick of a thing? Are you daft? I'm telling you, it's heavy. Very, very heavy. Here, feel for yourself. Yo, why did my game just lag because of that? <laughs> that that thing is heavy, bro. It's heavy on the data. You okay with it? No bone fractures forming, to your knowledge? It's filled to the brim with replacement parts and every tool you can imagine for replacing an ornament light of that size. It's no big deal at all. I'm stronger than I look, believe me. You just need to carry this to the lighthouse, right? Indeed. To vote. The lighthouse keeper. He's expecting it. Its contents are, contents are quite valuable, so please be careful. As careful as you can. I still can't believe it. Such responsibility, such strength, such grace. Ah, oh, I used. Uh, what? Jean told me about you two, but seeing for myself just how peppy you are lifts my spirits to the sky. Peppy? No, no, we're just, uh, professional? You're young, that's what you are. And naturally, I was worrying, I was worried in trusting something so valuable to potentially reckless use, but I worry no more. Hmm. 
We may be young, but that doesn't automatically mean we're reckless. Oh, no, no, you got it all wrong. I just meant that I wasn't sure how old man Vogue would take it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. What? You want to vote? Yeah, we helped him out when he was in a bit of a pickle. Let's just leave it at that, yeah. Haha, <laughs> he leaves the door open again. He leaves the door open again? Either way, you know what I'm talking about, it seems. Just try to understand where he's coming from. Being a lighthouse keeper is lonely work, so a little eccentricity is to be expected. The lighthouse is crucial for ships to be able to navigate safely, so the keeper's work is a very big responsibility. Gotcha, so, really important work. When he was a fisherman, he used to down plenty of drinks at Laventar. Now that he lives in the lighthouse, though, he really gets a chance to have his favorite drink. It's pretty sad. I'd really like to go ahead with getting him what he wants, but... Well, I've probably said too much. Either way, don't let the old man's unpleasantness get to you, okay? Okay, got it. Is there anything else before we go? Nothing in particular. Once you're done, I'd like you to return here. Take care, and I'll see you later. He thought I was going there directly. We're gonna go see the... Mayor's residence, and where else do we have to go? We have to go to the... Oh yeah, the chapel. Okay, where's the chapel? The chapel is that way. I don't think I've been in here. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. This guy, there we go. Hmm? Hey, are you bracers? Then you must have seen the bulletin board, right? Well, yes. But why in Libro did you pick here to meet of all places? Well, I kind of stand out here, don't I? I mean, it costs a lot to put up one of those requests, and I figure people will see me here and ask, Hey, why are you in the chapel? And then I'd be like, So that you can help me find some awesome treasure. Well, then, how about we get down to business? That request of yours certainly sounds intriguing. Haha, <laughs> glad you agree. Yep, I actually just acquired an ancient map a short while ago. And you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Wouldn't believe what now? It leads to the treasure of the great pirate, Skirmer. What? No way! But, um, I don't really know who that is. <laughs> I was like, what? You, you, you've never heard of Skirmer? Aren't, aren't you from Ruin? Or wait, are you from somewhere else? Uh, either way, Skirmer, how can you not know? Don't go making assumptions. If memory serves me correctly, Skirmer was a pirate that used to, um, work in the waters around Ruina around a hundred years ago. Precisely, nicely done. Leave it to the Royal Academy to teach the right things. Shame about the uniform, though. Wow, you know a lot, Chloe. Come on, Estelle, it's not that impressive. It's just a story I heard, that's all. I'd like to ask you to look for Skirmer's treasure. The location is marked on the map. There's a place that matches the description along the Gold Seaside Way, but it's surrounded by cliffs. The map has that pit marked, but every time I've gone to check it out lately, monsters attack, so I figured that I should get some professionals to take over. So, what's next after the pit? The map shows an X to the southeast of it. I figured that's gotta be the location of the treasure. You, you might be right. Oh yeah, I need to make a note of this. Well, let's take a minute to work out a plan. You go to the beach and ruin, find the pit, and go directly southeast from there. Well, that's that then. You've done a great job. Thank you. Hmm, but will we ever find it? All we know is to look southeast from the pit. Yes, and considering- Yo, look at this wide text, text box! <laughs> yes, and considering how wide the beach is, that still leaves a large area to search. Yeah, we just don't have enough information. Hey, come on guys, don't be getting all negative on me now. If you comb every inch of the beach on the ghost seaside way, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. So in other words, treat it like a test of endurance? Sounds right up your alley, Estelle. Well, I suppose you're right. But still, it wouldn't hurt to just have a tiny bit more, go more to go on. It's not the most efficient way to go about it, but what other choice is there? We'll just have to search the beach from top to bottom and hope we find something. Oh, I guess you're right. Okay, if we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know. I'm counting on you. Any treasure we find, we split equally. So there's that, and now we go to the mayor. And I'm pretty sure the mayor is down here.
Mm-hmm. Seems the more blue your blood, the prettier your face. Wait, what? What did you just say? Been a lot of high standing people passing through. Is blue like a thing for royalty? Like what? <laughs> Yo, this is a nice looking residence, hello? Oh dear, I can't believe the sapphire gun was stolen. And why now, of all possible times? Ah, oh, you're here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Hmm? Ah, oh, Chloe's with you. Yes, I'm accompanying them. We came as soon as we saw the bulletin board. What seems to be the problem? As you can see, this pedestal used to be adorned with a candelabrum. How do you say that? Candelabrum? I don't know. Oh man, it really just disappeared without a trace, huh? Things being what they are, I would like to ask you to conduct the search. What say you? Are you available? Fine with me. Sure thing. Excellent. Now let me give you some background. The stolen item is a candelabrum called the Sapphire Glen. It is a fine piece of craftsmanship, dating back to just after the Orbital Revolution. A Dalmor family heirloom, in fact. It would sell for hundreds of thousands of mira were it ever placed on the open market. H hundreds of thousands of mira? I see. It's probably not an issue of petty burglary then. Huh? It's not? You'd have to have some kind of safe way of laundering something that valuable. So whoever took it must be well connected. I, I get it. So that would rule out most of your everyday thieves. Well, actually, money wasn't the primary motivation for this crime it seems. Huh? What do you mean? Look at this card. That which nests here is a beast more dire than any other. Continue to give praise to the spirit whose blue light was lost in the darkness. Free the spark it left behind and I will be free. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Ideo see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over the cellar mode do so and the blue light will be revealed, Phantom Thief B. What's this? A note left behind on the bare pedestal. It appears to be written by the thief himself. He wants us to know he did it? So I'm inclined to believe. Got it. If all he was after was money, this is a wee bit excessive. What he wrote must have some, some significance. It almost sounds like some kind of poetry. Hmm. Blue light lost in the darkness. I'm guessing the blue light refers to the stolen candelabrum. Yes, I'd imagine so. The candelabrum candelabrum. Oh my god, stop saying this word. It's said to have been made at great pains by the townsfolk and given as a gift. That might explain the gift praise to the spirit part. Oh, I get it. So what about the last part? Sounds like it wants to look in a specific direction. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over the settlement. Well, it certainly sounds like it's trying to tell us where to go. And the destination has to be important somehow. The settlement bit probably refers to ruin. So there must be some kind of three-eyed giant somewhere in the city. Hmm, a giant? Well, it's obviously a clue. I'll make a note of it. I can be a little of use in this matter. It must. I must be off soon, as I have other work to which I must attend. And so I shall leave you to your investigation. Sure thing. So first thing is to search this room top to bottom. That won't be necessary. Why not? It has already been looked over by the residents. I'd like for you to search the surrounding area. But the card left you with a distinct clue to follow. Don't tarry. That candelabra must be recovered. I see. Then we will be then we will abide by your wishes. I guess the client is always right. Please understand I have no desire to interfere with the professionals in this matter. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Now, I'll leave you to concentrate. I'll be upstairs, so let me know if you find anything out. Man, this is a strange case. I guess we just have to see where that card leads us. There must be a hint somewhere in ruin. I guess we'll just have to stay patient. We'll just have to be patient and stay focused. Come on, let's get moving. Alright, so we took on like three different cases. So there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to check the boats on board again and see what else we have to do. There's that guy who wants to travel the Chrome Trail as well, so we're going to have to make a trip back. So... 
Let's see side way. This guy wants to go to the Aryan Causeway. I'll worry about that later. That's not. Who was that guy who needed a, a thing? Escort. Amelia. Amelia needs an escort. But where would she be? Is she here? Or is she at Chrome Trail Checkpoint? Well, anyway, we're going to head to the lighthouse. Oh, excuse me. Where is Gold Seaside Way? Oh, we're on it. Okay. Yeah, because this is where the beach is. Dang, look at this long trip we have to make to the lighthouse. And then we also have to go to the checkpoint, I believe. And there should be a pit with treasure. Is this it right there? No, I don't know, because they said something about going southeast. I don't know. Let me focus on one thing at a time. Let's go to the lighthouse. I'm like, I'll try looking to the left to see if I see anything that resembles like a pit. What's this? Okay, that's a trap. Oh yeah, I, I've been here before. Oh uh, yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> Wait, did this guy give us a map, actually? Where's the map, though? He didn't give us the map? Blah blah blah, an old map shows you where to go, but he, we don't even have said map. What are you guys doing? Thanks for helping Clem. He can be a real pain sometimes. Oh, they're playing. I'm playing with everyone. Whoops. Everyone's doing better already. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that the sex were like different. Who's this? Is this Amelia? It is, huh? Um, are you... Are all of you with the Bracer Guild? Yeah, we are. I guess you must be Miss Amelia? That's right, I've been waiting for you. The assignment said something about an escort mission? Guarding someone who's headed into the mountains? Yes, that's right, I want you to protect my uncle. He's going through the Crone Trail. Hmm. Oh, he's traveling the bows, right? No, not exactly. He wants to specifically... He wants specifically to go to the Crone Trail. Huh? How come? Why would anyone want to just go there? He said something about looking for some rare plants up there. I'm sorry, I don't really know what he's talking about. Ah, okay then. Well, I think we should just ask him directly then. Indeed. Please wait a moment, I've already called him. This sounded a lot simpler when we saw it on the bulletin board. I have a feeling this isn't going to go well. Crown Trail is an exceedingly dangerous place. I can't imagine anyone specifically wanting to go there. No kidding. We'll never know if we don't ask the old man though. Let me take another set. This man's gonna want us to fight monsters. Oh, it looks like he's here. Huh? Where's your uncle? Well, it looks like he's already set out. What? Set out? For the Crone Trail, I assume? I think so, yes. What you mean? Bro, she said I already called him. He wasn't even in there. And I'd ask him to at least wait until he showed up. I don't know what made him decide to just leave on his own like this. Hmm, that's not good. Not good at all. 
Why would he go there alone? It's like asking for a monster to eat you. It'll be even more dangerous in the dark. We should really be off the pass by sundown. Huh, I'm sorry. You came all this way for basically nothing. Oh, don't worry about us. We're fine. I'm really sorry. I'll have a word with my uncle as soon as he gets back. That can't be nothing. We're gonna... What is it called? Escort, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go there. And find them. I don't know what's good with that man. That man said he wants to feel young again. <laughs> he wants to feel the rush. One last time. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. The lighthouse is this way, right? Why do they get to go first? I do not appreciate this. At least this, S, this uh, delivery one is simple. Whoops, that camera angle. Dang, I gotta go all the way upstairs, bro. Look at this, all the way up. We're back! Huh? Aren't you eating kids from before? <laughs> it's been a while since we were up was well, we were last up this way. And today we're here on another job. A request came into the bracer guild, so we're here to deliver this maintenance kit. Here you go, it's a little heavy though, so be careful lifting it. Yup, everything's here alright. I appreciate you bringing this all the way over here. Oh, no worries, it's our job after all. The townsfolk were actually really worried about you too, so I'm just glad to see you're doing well. Work must be tough, so take care of yourself, okay? Don't overexert those old bones of yours. I'll do that. Thank, thank you for your concern, blunt as it be. So does this mean you're starting to understand what it means to possess a caring soul? Uh, nope, not really. I'm no good with those touchy-feely concepts, I guess. And here I thought you'd grown up a bit. Ah, well. Hmm, I guess you've still got a ways to go before you can match the level of that bracer. Anyway, thank you for bringing this stuff all the way up here. I'd best get, I'd best get to work. Time to start my rounds. Well, you take care now, okay? And don't break your head. Excuses, please. Okay, that was that was simple. This is just a big walking trip, bro. But um, this is just part of our jobs. So now I'm gonna. I'm gonna go on a whim and say that we need to keep going up this uh this the trail to Crone Trail because I don't know what Amelia's uncle is doing up there. But I have a sneaky suspicion that he's not gonna come back unless we go out there and help him. The same thing. And they get to go first. Where's my speed at? Am I like under leveled? I can't even tell. I'm like those monsters that were bodying me, they they kinda they kind of was letting me know. But I don't even know if I want to fight them. Like, that quest might be a whole dub. Look how long this trail is. This guy really went here by himself. For what? He better be here. I'm gonna be upset if I waste my time making this trip. Oh shoot. Okay, at least we go first. But look, already monsters walling. I can't change my camera angle? Are you kidding me? Ah! See, I had a feeling. <laughs> hey there! Help! I need help! Come on, Joshua! Right. Had a feeling. 
We've been new. We've been new. Alright, what are these things weak to? Water. Do I have water? No. We're gonna double team this, and we're gonna let Chloe take the other one. Look at all these Latiras. Which one does damage? Oh, down here. I'm guessing this one is way stronger. That should be a one-hit KO, then. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a one-hit KO. Because that wasn't even super effective. This... This has to be a one-hit KO. Surely! 570, yup. Yo, Chloe got some power, what the hell? And she's not even a bracer, she's just a freaking high school student. I was thinking because I didn't even want to waste my thing for it, but like, screw it. This is simple enough though. See like we have missions like these that are like, like she said, a piece of cake and then we have those other missions where it's like, yo why is that monster so powerful? So like I don't know if I'm under leveled or not, like I really can't tell. It looks like we made it just in time. More like by a hair's breath. Were you hurt sir? Not at all, I'm quite alright. Thanks to you, I came out with nothing more than a few scratches. Hmm? Now, I could almost swear I've seen you two somewhere before. The girl's homely face is especially familiar. Huh, homely? Hey, but now that you mention it... Oh, I remember now. You're that country girl from Roland. You? You're that conniving merchant who is searching for those toxic mushrooms. Estelle, he was a client, remember? Tone it down a bit. Hmm, it seems like even now you still haven't learned how to show the slightest courtesy. That's exactly what I'd expect from someone raised in the boonies. Yo, this guy is ungrateful. How about you just shut up, you nasty food maniac? No doubt you are out here hunting for more bizarre ingredients, right? Hmm, I've already gathered the valuable wild vegetables I came here for. These exotic delectables are far more unique than even that firefly fungus. Haha, <laughs> when these in hand, my next business deal is sure to be a success. Back up, buddy. What do you mean by next business deal? Ha, huh, that fire fungus... That firefly fungus didn't work out for you, did it? I'm not going to listen to any more of this pessimism. There just happened to be no demand for them at the time. That's all. End of story. Um, Estelle? When he mentioned the wild vegetables, did that bring anything to mind? Oh, right. Amelia, who we met at Minoria Village. Amelia, you say? That's my niece, but what does she have to do with any of this? Eh? Huh? Which means that you're her uncle? It certainly looks that way. Why, has she done something? Actually, Amelia asked that we provide your escort, but when we arrived in the Minoria, you had already left. Is that so? I guess it wasn't very nice of me to take off like that. But it couldn't be helped. I had come up with a real eye-catcher before my next business deal. And because of that, you almost ended up being some monster's next meal. I'm pretty sure you can't do business deals while in the belly of a monster. Hmm. Once you get back, you should apologize to Amelia. I'm sure she's worried sick about you. Alright, fine. I promise to talk to her after my next business deal in Grand Slow is done. I think that would be good, a good move on your part too. Okay, let's get going. We'll escort you back to town. You have my thanks. I'm in your hands. Oh, but it's a good thing you did come here. And if we didn't do this, there was no way we would do it um, later. Still, man's be ungrateful. Now we're gonna go on this long trail again.
Alright, so we did the lighthouse one, we did the escort one. Now we have that treasure map one, and we also have the, um, the robbery one. Where do we have to go for the robbery one? I did not want to run into you. How do you beat this thing? Because before it was like mad at them. Oh, they're weak to water. We could probably do it with Chloe. Not now, though. Let's get this guy back safe. Jeez. Hmm, this is splendid. I am greatly obliged to you for today. I do hope that the matter from earlier can be forgiven and forgotten. It would seem that we are united by fate. When next we meet, I hope we can see one another as business associates rather than mutual nuisances. I'm okay with it. What do you think, Estelle? Hmm, sounds good to me. So we're all on good terms again. To future successes. I'm very glad to hear you say that. Then perhaps we'll meet again on the next job. Okay. Bro, he's not gonna go in the house? Hello? Oh, maybe that's not their house. Okay. Um. Hold up. Alright, I'm back. Had to take a little break. Um, let's see, where are we? Okay, so we're in Minoria Village. We gotta get out this way. We gotta head back. We should be able to find the treasure while we're here. And then after we find this treasure, we can go handle that uh, robbery. I don't know how I didn't run into that. So we gotta travel along this beach. Did I miss that thing? What the hell is that? Yeah, I went too far. I was just checking, maybe something was over there. Other than that big monster. Like, what are those things? Like, these monsters don't even look like something that would just be naturally in the area, you know? Like, hmm. Okay, this is the town. Let's start looking at the beach. What's this? Oh, we already checked that. Um, nope. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see. Look, there's like, if you look at the mini map, there's actually a little pathway. What the hell? I would not have noticed that. Oh my god. Why can I like not go this way? Like this is so... This is... That is so oddly specific. Oh wow. Now I gotta pay attention to freaking things. What's this? Found skull daggers and torn map. Wow, awesome daggers. They seem pretty ancient. From the look of them, they may even date back to the Orbital Revolution. Wow, what about that piece of paper? Looks like a piece of a sea chart. Do you think maybe this is the treasure that Jimmy was talking about? Sorry, but I don't think this has anything to do with it. I'd say this is probably washed ashore from somewhere else. It might have been cargo from a shipwreck. Yes, I believe you're right. I heard that such accidents happened often long ago. Oh, so before airships, everyone traveled by water, right? I wonder if this beach is right on an old trade route or something, then. That's not it? Do you have to... Bruh. It's 
So where could the thing be? Wait. We have to follow the beach heading toward ruin. This is this is heading toward ruin though. So I'm guessing we can use these daggers that we got. That would be for Joshua, right? Why is it minus 10? I don't... Hmm. Yeah, minus 10 isn't worth it to get only plus 4 attack. I mean, plus... Wait. What? How does this say plus 42? And this says plus 45, yet this thing goes up by 4. Oh, my orbment, that 10% attack. But that's weird, though. Hmm. Can I look at the map? Ah. Of course I can't use the map. So what are we supposed to do? Do I go this side? Is it this thing? Freaking monsters again. Am I gonna have to fight this thing? I might have to fight this thing, bro. That's gonna be annoying. What is this big monster? I don't even have to fight this thing. I'm not even gonna waste my time on it. Let's get out the way. I think I might have to fight this thing. I'm like, I was gonna have to fight it eventually. I just don't want to right now. All right, let's look at these things. They're super weak to water. So I'm gonna back out real quick. And we're gonna give Joshua a water orb mint. Makes no sense not to, to be honest. Yeah, we'll take out his fire one since we won't need it. Alright, excuse me, sir. This thing looks like a freaking, like an overlord from StarCraft. <laughs> bro, don't camp the chest, bro. Bro, don't camp the chest. Thank you. All right, hopefully we don't die. I wonder if I can one-shot these things, hopefully. All right, and you don't have a multi-attack thing, right? You have multi-healing, but not multi-attacking, at least for water. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Chloe got that defense, yo. She be eating it up. Oh, wait, we're eating it up, too. Hold up. I feel like before we got smoked by these things. Or maybe it's something else. I don't know. But I'm feeling good about this. Nice one-shots. Everything is one-shot. Bad, bad, bad. We got this. Is this the treasure, though? That's the thing. I thought the treasure would be that thing over the... Jesus Christ. 822? Chloe got freaking power. I'm like, she does have more orbits. Which I don't know why. You're like a regular freaking student. Is that area of effect? What does that thing do? Am I confused? It shouldn't matter. I think we got this. That was actually really easy. What made me not want to fight these before? I'm confused. Hmm. I don't know. We'll take those then. 
Yep, it takes care of that. Prickly seed. Battle suit. The voices in my lid said you'd return. Smith, the voices in his lid. We got a battle suit. Bruh, look at this. That is freaking elite. What do we have on right now? Uh. Who needs it more? I guess I'll just give it to Estelle for now. So is that not the treasure either? Okay, there was that other there was that other chest with monsters in it. Maybe that's the treasure? I am so confused. Where was it? It was somewhere around here. I think it was this way? Yeah, I think it's this way. It's like a little thing right here. Yeah, so this is the same thing. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Eating it up. That did zero. Literally zero. That did four. Why were I why was I scared of these guys before? Or did we just get stronger? Was it the gear that we bought? I'm so confused. I feel like they were doing way more damage before. Well, anyway, we'll take these. If this isn't the treasure, I don't know what is. Like, I honestly don't know. Um... <clears throat> That really looks like it'd be Aries effect. Alright, don't double team. Don't do that. Like I'm I'm I'll honestly be confused if this isn't the treasure. I, I thought that first part would be the treasure, because it was such a secret path, too. <laughs> Ruby Talisman. What? The stuff you took before wasn't enough? A Ruby Talisman, what is that? The wearer's attack and defense will become fire-based? I guess that's cool. But that might not be the treasure. I don't know. I'm gonna try talking to Jimmy, see if that old thing that we got was the treasure. Maybe it just didn't update because we didn't know about it. But, because it's like, why was there a cutscene for that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go back and talk to Jimmy. I don't know how long this episode is gonna be. I'm gonna do a bunch of these side quests. Hmm. Chapel's this way. This music is fire. Oh! Hey, Jimmy! Oh, you're back. A uh, any sign of the treasure? Um, well, we haven't found anything substantial yet, but we did find a couple of old daggers in the beat-up map. A, a sea chart Whoa, this is big stuff. Please, let me see it! <laughs> hey, calm down. I don't want you to die of excitement or anything. Hand it over to a map. Whoa, is this what I think it is? Oh wow, this is incredible. Suge! This is one of the Skirmer's treasure maps. What? Now hold on a second, mister. You just said a minute ago that you had the treasure map already. 
That had to have been a treasure map map! My map shows the location of this map, which shows where the actual treasure is. This is getting confusing. But I found the chart inside a barrel. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we just have to suspend our disbelief to get through the day. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Why was that, like, deep? It may seem a little strange that we'd find a sea chart like that. But I kind of want to believe that there's something to all of this. Haha, <laughs> as do I. Hmm, well, it is something to think about. Well, as long as our client is happy, we're happy, even if we're also very confused. Oh, that's right. Hey, Jimmy, what about the daggers we found with the chart? Hmm? You guys can keep those. I don't have much in the way of Mira, so it's the only payment I can offer. Please, take them. Share in the mystery with me. Okay, thanks. Wow, this is really amazing. This sea chart is just a spectacular find. Haha, <laughs> looks like I'll be real busy again soon. Whoa, I can't stick around here. I've got to take this to O'Neill to get it deciphered. He's going to flip. Who's O'Neill? Later, thanks for your help. This man hopped over the bench. <laughs> Yo! O'Neill? Oh, okay. Now I get it. So, who is he? He's an older gentleman that, who runs a general store. He tells lots of interesting stories, but he tends to bold them out of proportion. Yeah, I get what you mean. So I guess that Jimmy's been taken in by the old man's tall tales? Yes, so it would appear. Ha, huh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. But, if it is true, maybe that chart really is the one from those fish tales. That's possible. <laughs> I guess it really is a little mysterious. Hey, if we believe in it, I wonder if maybe it would pay off. Honestly though, I think Jimmy believes a little too, uh, fervently. Still, chasing your dreams isn't a bad way to live. Oh, I guess that was the quest. Well, okay then, we'll take it. Um, now, now we have this, uh, thievery door. Wonder about, alright. So, it says, look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Wow, it would be nice if my camera could, like, you know, look up. So I could see it in the distance. How am I supposed to know what tower they're talking about? I can't even, like... Is this a three-eyed tower? No. Oh, wait the heck? <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? H hey, that's a card, isn't it? Let's have a look. No way this is it. Bro, this is so lucky. I assumed it'd be like a, you know, a tower. But, like, that didn't look like three-eyed. <laughs> it's the same card that we saw in the mayor's estate. I see. So this is what the card meant by three-eyed. That is so lucky, bro. Where's the three eyes? Oh... Ah, I see. This might be the three-eyed part of the clue. I did not see that. So, is anything written on it? Let's see. Ah, Seeker. The eyes of Ideos see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. Looks like the next spot's been picked. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Red and black? That has to mean something in ruin, don't you think? Probably, yeah. I guess the criminal sure must love his puzzles. He won't break his own rules. What a total jackass. Oh well, let's start searching. Bro, this is so lucky. I would not have noticed that this thing had... three eyes. But I see it now. Now that it now that it's pointed out. Alright, what would be red and blue? I mean red and black. Bro, nothing in the city is red and black. What do you mean? See, I might have to look up for this clue. I was going to look up for, like, the first clue. Cause, but that was total luck that I found it there. Is red and black, like, those... Those thugs? It's not in here, right? Wait, let me look at the clue one more time. Look to the endless waltz, which unfolds between the red and black. What is a waltz? Is that a dance? I'm about to Google this real quick on my phone. You thought. 
I need all details, bro. Listen, as an investigator, you need to know all your details. Okay, so I knew it was a dance, but I'm seeing if there's like more to it. Ballroom. Okay, so ballroom. So this is, we're talking about something a little bougie, which I don't think is the thugs. Maybe the hotel. There's nothing red and black in here. Is it like, I can't even change my camera. Nah, I wouldn't be in like a room, right? Maybe downstairs? Outside? No. No, it's not gonna be in like these rooms. Yeah. There's nothing red and black. Upstairs? Yeah, nothing here is red and black. I, I was reaching. <laughs> That's kind of red and black, hello? No. But it's, this is not like a ballroom setting, though. Okay, so if it's not at the hotel... I feel like I didn't see anything at the bar. There's like another spot, though. That could be like bougie. I don't think it's the Orbital Factory. I don't think it's here. Let's look at the layout of the city. Alright, that doesn't help. Um, <laughs> a waltz. Where would you have a dance? The casino and bar. Upstairs? No. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me this is it. A red and black waltz? Oh, the freaking cards! <laughs> yes, red and black. I can't imagine it means anything but roulette. I think you're right. Let's check it out. Is there something you're looking for, sir, madams? Sorry, but we'll be done in just a moment. Aha, found it. A card is glued flat to the surface. How did you not notice that, man? Like, do you not clean up around here? So it should have the next message, right? Yeah, let's take a look. Ah, Seeker. The eyes of Ideo see only the truth and pass it on to you. Rest at the land harbor and look to the one-eyed lion. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. So you have to go to the harbor? Okay, I've added it to my bracer notebook. The important parts are probably the land harbor and the one-eyed lion. One-eyed this time. It's always made more sense once we got there before. I doubt this time will be any different. Yeah, I guess we need to get a move on. A madman's clues must be followed after all. Hmm? Sorry to cause all the fuss. Ooh, excuse me. Um... This is a nice little spot. This is nice. Like, I would love to go to a restaurant like this. Like, this is mad cool. You just come out here, right by the water. Hopefully it doesn't stink though, but I assume it doesn't. Alright, so, judging by this next clue, I'm going to assume that, you know, it's at the, the harbor slash the port. Which I'm pretty sure is on this side. And he said one-eyed lion. Is this a one-eyed lion? <laughs> is the crane a one-eyed lion? Alright, let me look at it again. Rest at the land harbor and look to the one eyed lion. But it says rest. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh. Uh, yeah, equipment is being trash. Is this even the port though? This just looks like the warehouse. Yeah, this is just storage and stuff. I don't think I was supposed to come here. What is the one-eyed lion? Bro, I don't even know. Do I even have a port? Like, that's my thing. 
Like, where do I go if I'm trying to take a boat? I'm like, it did say rest. Like, do we come back to the hotel? And then... There's like a boat over here. It's not a one-eyed lion, though. Yeah, this isn't like a one-eyed lion. A one-eyed lion? Rest at the land harbor. Wow, guys watching probably must be like, this guy is slow. Rest at the land harbor and look to the one-eyed lion. What is that? Whoops. That's just how the tree looks. Okay. Um... What would be the one-eyed lion? It's hard because I can't like look all the way around. Like I can't look up and down, only like this way. Like you can't change the camera vertically. And it says Land Harbor. Oh, Land Harbor as in over here? No freaking way you call this a freaking lion. I get it, the one-eyed lion. I wonder if there's a way to keep it from seeing you. This must be the land harbor. No doubt about it. Alright, let's see what we can find. It's a land harbor because this is where the airships land. Okay, I found the card. We should confirm its contents. Right. Ah, Seeker. The eyes of Ideo see only the truth and pass it on to you. Beyond the drawbridge, look to the barrels near the steel crane do so and the blue light will be revealed we gotta go back there now it's a steel crane sounds suspiciously easy to figure out this time the drawbridge it mentions is probably the one over in the harbor oh how much longer are we gonna have to do this my questions exactly haha <laughs> i'm sure we must be nearing the end we just have to keep going okay estelle what do you need to pick up your spirits um I'm, I'm just tired is all. I'm fine, really. See, I'm ready to get back in the game. I swear. Uh, what was that about? She's just pissed that we're going back and forth. I am too. He's sending us all over the place. Alright, so is this the crane over here? Yeah, as if we definitely weren't here before. Hmm, that's weird. This must be the steel crane, but... There are no barrels to be found. Well, what the heck is this stupid clue supposed to mean, then? Hey, mister. I know you heard us, that late reaction! Hmm, huh? what is it? You seen any barrels around here? Barrels? Can't, can't say that I recall. Well, there's a barrel right behind Chloe. The warehouse is packed full of them, though. Oh, oh well. Hmm? Huh? The warehouse? What's wrong? Um, I was just thinking. Didn't we find the warehouse key earlier? Yes, I missed the Hargs request. And we haven't talked to him either, right? The barrels near the crane were moved to the warehouse. I get you. You're thinking that the barrels that were here are all inside now. You're probably right. Nice going, Estelle. <laughs> it does happen from time to time. Okay, let's go see what Mr. Harg has to say. Who is Mr. Harg? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Bro, I forgot. Who is Mr. Harg? I don't even got the key, though. I remember hearing that name. I just don't know who that is. Bro... Who is Harg, bro? 
Imagine having a child and naming him hard. Speaking of parents, I don't imagine their parents are set up. Yo, who is Harg? Oh, thank God he was here. Good afternoon, Harg. We have a question for you. Me? What do you want? I was wondering what kind of work you were doing when you lost the key. You said you were moving the barrels near the crane to the warehouse. Is that correct? Yep, sounds right. It was actually just one barrel, though. It was in the way of the crane, see, so it had to be put in storage. I lost the key sometime after that. Sorry to be a bother, but is there any way we could get into the warehouse? We'd like to examine that barrel. Hmm. Well, management doesn't approve of outsiders entering our warehouses. It's prohibited, in fact. The stuff that's stored there is supposed to be secure, you know? My job's at stake, so I really can't let you inside. Man, that's a problem, then. Still, I owe you one. I'll see what I can do. You just want to check out that one barrel, right? Yes, that's correct. Well, I can take it out for a spell, then. That way, you can look it over all you want without ever having to go inside. Hooray for loopholes! Ah, okay. Thanks, that would be a huge help. This is no big deal. Follow me, then. Okay, it's open. Hang on a second here. What is he doing in there? Oh, Mr. Portos. What you doing around here? Oh, I just had a hunch about something. So I used a duplicate key to get in the warehouse and check on it. Huh? A duplicate? Didn't even know there was one. Anyway, who are these folks? Oh, they're braces. They want to look over that barrel I moved in here earlier. It's part of their investigation. Ah, I see. But I'm afraid that only authorized personnel are allowed inside the warehouse. Damn, we've been caught. We was trying to be low. We was trying to find the loophole. Yeah, but I'm the one who moved it in there in the first place. Should be okay if I bring it outside for a short while so they can look it over, no? Yes, I should be fine. Please assist them in their investigation. Surprised to see braces coming all this way for an investigation, though. Such young ones, too. You guys do some admirable work. Haha, <laughs> well, we do alright. If you need any information, feel free to ask hard. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you, sir. Ah, he's a nice guy about it. Alrighty, I'll bring the barrel. Phew, sorry for the long wait. Here's the barrel you wanted. Wow, this thing is huge. It is. And you actually carried it all by yourself? Haha, <laughs> never underestimate a dock hand. I found the car to stop. Whoa, really? I must apologize most profoundly. For the barrel to have been moved was an error most inopportune, but the warehouse key was recovered, and you have made it here, and I, I will reveal the truth onto you. Wait, what? Was this guy watching us? Your reward will be what you have sought. Look within the barrel. The candelabrum you find will, no doubt, be returned to its rightful owner. Ah, time grows short. We will meet again. I've got a bad feeling about this. This weirdo must have been close by watching us. Exactly, right? What? Indeed. Hey, look at the card. Some of the ink is still wet. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, Mr. Portos. You said earlier that this would be okay. It wasn't him! It was a different guy! What are you talking about? Damn, we've been had. Whoa, no way! You were just here a little while ago and... It must have been someone posing as him. Yeah, it's not him. The criminal may have worn a disguise and used the opportunity to plant the card. Alright, Mr. Hart, you're trash though because you should know the guy's voice. See, we don't know him, so we would be caught. Well, Mr. Hart, you should have recognized his voice. Damn, Mr. Hart. Oh, no. Well, then we need to get after him. Oh, Estelle. Off she goes. Joshua, shouldn't we do something? I'm afraid it's probably too late. We messed up when we didn't notice the imposter before. I doubt Estelle will find any trace of him. Ah, I see. Let's just make sure the kind of labrum isn't damaged. Retrieving it was our main priority, not catching the perk. You're right. It was written that it'd be in this barrel. I pray that's true. Oh man, I hope she isn't too disappointed that we're opening this without her. Yo, that thing looks fire. That thing looks like... Is that hookah? 
And, and that's the story. We got the candelabrum back, undamaged. But we haven't found any clues as to, where, as to the whereabouts of the thief. All we know is that he calls himself Phantom Thief B. Oh, if only we found out about the fake sooner. He disappeared while we were running around in circles. No, no, you've all done a fine job. The main thing is that the Sapphire Gloom has been recovered. The mayor is right. We've done exactly what was asked of you. Thank you for your kind words. But the fact is, we still allowed the thief to escape. Yeah, we can't just let him get away with this. We'd like your permission to continue the investigation. If possible, we want to search the estate for any further clues. No, that's really not necessary. My request did not require you to catch the culprit after all. You brought back the candelabrum. But, Joshua, I understand your passion for upholding justice. But there are other, more important crimes which must be answered for. I do not wish to further monopolize your time over something so trivial. I have no doubt that there are others out there who are waiting for Abrace's help. It would please me if you helped those in greater need first. Mayor. <laughs> Understood. Then we will close our investigation. Hmm. Oh, fine. And of course I will compensate you fully for your time and effort. Now, if you'll excuse my rudeness, I must leave. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. We'll also be on our way then. No closure! Huh. Well, that's taken care of, but I wouldn't exactly call it settled. So it seemed, yes. Hey, come on, Joshua. I know you've got something on your mind. Huh? Oh yeah, a little. I was just wondering why the thief would take the candelabrum if he meant for it to be found. Good question. But it looks like we may never know. The newest card is what really gets me. It's as if this were designed uh, as a test specifically for you two. Exactly! That's the thing. Like, they were watching us. And they it's like they knew that we would take this job. Yeah, that's been bugging me too. We need to keep up our investigation. For starters, we still don't know where the crook sneaked in from. Why don't we do some sneaking around of our own and check out the estate? Won't that make us just as bad as the crook we're chasing? Well, then what are we supposed to do? What choice do we have? We're supposed to abide by the client's wishes. For now, we have to be patient. Uh, Alright, let's go. Like the mayor said, there's a lot that still has to be done. Alright, I guess it's back to the drawing board. That seems to be all that we can do for the moment. Wow, that's no closure. I would... Nah, it's not gonna be Dad. Maybe someone who knows him. But, um... Yeah, definitely someone was watching us and made that for us. But let's go report this. Ooh. Look at this money. Much obliged. You appear to have achieved your goal without injury. If you complete any other jobs, be sure to give me all the juicy details. Alright, so... It looks like the rest of these are along the Aryan Causeway, a place that I've been avoiding, but we're just going to have to go there. But that'll be in the next episode, I've been playing this for a while, so I'm going to take a break here. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, if you want to, but um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Now slip, 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 slide. Slip, 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 and slide. Slip, 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 and slide. Stop. Hold up, tag team. Ride with your boy, now slip and slide. Ride with your boy, now slip and slide.